Next, we have Custom Auto. So, hello, my name is Trevor Legel. Um, like I said, my business is Custom Auto. It says, uh, this will be a web-based business where you'll be able to build and create any car that we have on stock of uh, aftermarket parts. You'll be able to add and visualize what is happening. Um, the, how I came up with the idea is uh, me and my brother, we used to always play video games and stuff. We'd be able to build and customize cars. And then you'd race them around just have kind of fun with them and see how different ways you can create it. Um, and I always was kind of curious why there was never an actual purpose for this in a real life aspect. Where you can do that for any car that you may want or have. And you can add the parts and then know what the total cost would be to do that to your vehicle. So like if you actually want to do it, you can save up and then buy it part by part. So the team that I am right now, I'm by myself as of now, but uh, I've been working with my cousin and a bunch of other people on how to build what I need to know with the website and how to create and the different aspects of the technology that I just did not know up, up hand or way. Um, he's also a website designer, so he'll help me build the website and get it functioning and maintenance until I find somebody who I can take on full time for that. It's jumping ahead on me, I guess. Uh, the distinct functions of my site will be you'll be able to take a car that we have in choices and then add different aftermarket parts to that vehicle to give you a visualizing representation of what it could look like, not what it'll exactly look like. And the cars that we'd like to have on the site will be domestic markets starting out with of the last 15 years. And then eventually as the company gets bigger and bigger, I'd like to grow it to go to other markets and more and more cars, maybe classic cars. Um, the, also on the website, it won't be where you buy the, you can't, you won't buy the parts through me. It'll be through the manufacturers. So you will, my site will have a different links that will send you to the manufacturers and that's where you buy the parts. So mine is just gonna be the customizer and then from there you buy the parts. So this would be what my site will look like, hopefully, um, where you'll have the, We'll have the customizer right at the top for the link, and then it'll show the top sold items for that week or maybe that month. And uh, so let's say if you, you were curious what Realtree Max 5 is, you can click or highlight it with the mouse, and it'll give you a brief description of what that product is, where it goes, and also a price if we are given a price. And then it'll give you the link to click to get to the manufacturer and where to buy it. If you were to click the customizer, this will send you to the site, a secondary page, this is where you'll do all the customizations, where it will have the make, the model, the trim, the cab, and the color of the car. Try to get it as close as it can to your actual vehicle that you want it to do. And then from there, this is a stock photo. There'll be three stock photos for every car on the site. And there'll be a front, a side, and a rear view of the car that you can do different uh, changes to. So let's say you wanted to add that Realtree Max 5 onto the vehicle. You do this and it looks something similar to that. It'll give you an idea what it could look like, not what it'll be guaranteed to look like. Let's say you also want to do rims. You can do black rims for the vehicle. Let's say you want to go to the front view now. You can just air over on the screen. It'll send you to a front view of the vehicle where you can add, then add like an LED light bars onto the car. Oop, that's jumping up. So then this won't only be trucks. It'll be also be cars and then uh, crossovers and any vehicle that I have permission from the companies to show on the website, I would like to have on the website. So uh, here's an example, would be a Dodge Challenger. Let's say you want to make black rims on this to give an idea to your curious to own the car. You can do that. Or let's say you own a Camaro. You also, that'd be your stock photo. And then from there you can do black rims and maybe a pinstripe if you wanted to do it. Or again, if you want to have a Ford Mustang, you can get a Ford Mustang in green color. And then you get black rims, and then maybe you want to put a pinstripe in the bottom. Kind of hard to see in this picture. So the revenue models for this project that I've come up with is there'll be three sources of revenue. The first would be a click per click basis, which the per click basis is where if, when somebody clicks on that product, you'll get a certain cent of the total the manufacturer will pay you because you're bringing people into that product and bringing them to the service because they're hoping they'll buy. And then I'm hoping that when the person buys the site or they click on it, it goes to the site and they buy that product, I want to get a percentage of the sale of that product since I 
brought them in, basically made it visualize it, help them sell the product. But I'm guessing to begin with that the main source of revenue will be through ads. So the competition as of now on this site, there is a couple companies that I know of, two for sure that are similar but they're not the same. The first one is a company that you have similar to customizations to, but it doesn't give you a price. So you can do like a different color, a rim, and a scoop, and there's, and there's one other thing. Um, I think you can do pinstripe with the other one. Onto that site, but it never gives you a price. It's more just for the fun of it. Like the people are just gonna enjoy it and mess around. And then the other site is through Discount Tire. And on Discount Tire, you can only do one thing, and it's only changing the rims. So you can get an idea what they look like, but it's only with the rims that they have and on the site, versus this will be paired up with different manufacturers. So I'll have hopefully have a larger market of choices and things people choose from. And I'd like to open it up to questions and see what you guys have. So Trevor, I'd like to ask if you ever considered adding um, a subscription model to your service that maybe you would allow people to do this once and then if they wanted to keep doing it or they kept, you know, they wanted to do it uh, multiple months that you would actually ask them to subscribe for a period of time or a reoccurring uh, method of payment because that, you know, that does seem to be a fairly winning model for a lot of people. I do like your, your method of uh, receiving revenue on this, but I think you're a little low in your revenue estimates here of what you possibly could get. People love their vehicles. They love to customize their vehicles. I don't know if everyone in the room, in the room realizes that, but uh, when you drive around, you do realize this. And so I think that uh, you maybe have have another potential source too. Honest. Maybe not a subscription exactly, but I have thought about doing different signups. And I'm hoping as the site builds on, I can get into different markets. We're first off, it's just gonna be like a free sign up and it helps to get rid of ads and different things. But I'm hoping eventually I can get to the point where there'll be like three signups. One will be a person who's just the free version. You get like three customizations and from there they can mess around. But after they get to that point, it's all, you can't have any more, so you got to leave. The other one will be that you get, that you pay a monthly subscription or monthly price. You get to have a larger amount of customizations and maybe you get to do 3D models depending upon what we have in store at that time. And then from there, the third choice would be to offer it to manufacturers or like actual uh, auto market and dealerships so that they can use it as a product to show somebody that walks in like, oh, you're looking at doing this in your car, here's what it could look like if you wanted to do it and be a more a uh, market like for them to help they themselves people as they're like a more personal face-to-face -face stuff. What's it gonna cost to build the app? Um, as of now, I haven't found out a real great price on building the app because it's just been so different. I know the only, well, the only price I know as of now for sure is that the website will run me most likely $75 to $100 a month. But the, it's the software I have to use that changes that I'm not really entirely sure on what software I want to go with and what I use, but that will change the price. So I'm hoping to use like a Photoshop software where you can superimpose the image in, but I don't know how that will work on the website. I got to talk to my cousin. I'm working that out a little more and more. What does it take to get licenses to use every manufacturer's car and the pictures? How do you go about doing that? What that license look like? Um, I, that's what I, my next step. I want to I want to get in touch with the Fords and the Dodge and the Chevys just to, to know what I need to do to get their permission to have them on the site. Um, I haven't talked to any legal company about where to go from there. I was hoping to send an email to them, but I'm, I haven't been able to really define the correct person to send it to. So I'm going to put a little more research into that and then try to figure that out as I get a little bit closer down the line. But that's definitely a big question I'm trying to get answered. One question on, <clears throat> if I, I think what you said is the people, if you needed to buy materials like the pinstripes, you click through and you buy through the person who provides the pinstripes. Yeah. Have you approached any of those people since they're the ones who are making the money in this deal as far as 
getting an idea if they would help fund it or get involved in something like this? I haven't discussed that yet either. That's another one I've been trying to get done with uh, preparing out and whatnot. I'm working out with them to see if they're interested in it. I know there's companies out there, but it's just a matter of getting in touch with the right person and finding out what they want to do. So, yeah.